Hi, I'm Donna Risto, financial advisor with Edward Jones. The European debt crisis, unemployment, and speculation about recession have all been in the headlines recently. Navigating in the current market volatility can be a challenge. If you're wondering what lies ahead, I'd like to meet with you. Let's work together to make sure you're ready for the ups and downs of the market. Donna Risto, financial advisor, 855-1726, 855-1726. Edward Jones, Making Sense of Investing, member SIPC. The Yarnell Hill fire now 80% contained. That's the word from fire officials. Operations Section Chief Carl Schwalpe of the multi-agency incident team says the blaze isn't actively burning and crews have been working to ensure any embers are out cold. It was 45% contained Thursday afternoon. Yavapai County Sheriff Scott Masher says some residents were permitted to return home Thursday evening, though evacuation orders for Yarnell remain in place. The Yarnell Hill fire was sparked by lightning on June 28th. Two days later, violent winds fed the fire and took the Granite Mountain hotshots by surprise, killing 19 members of that elite firefighting crew. The blaze has burned more than 100 structures on about 13 square miles. Initial autopsy findings released Thursday indicate the firefighters died over the weekend of burns and inhalation problems. The Prescott-based hotshots bodies will be taken back to the hilltop community in a 75-mile procession from Phoenix Sunday. Each firefighter will be in an individual hearse accompanied by motorcycle escorts, honor guard, and American flags. A memorial service is planned for Tuesday and is expected to draw thousands of mourners. Jim Matthews, Havasu Video News.